Got sway bar, yeah, we got sway bar. Well, this is a new thing for Corvairs. This is a bearing swivel for the differential. Yeah, nice, huh? And I got a full bearing kit for all the carburetors. It's gonna give it a 99.9% of carburetor slop. Well, it's in. Motor's in. Springs are in. I'm going to cut more spring off the rear. I think. I'm going to cut more spring off the rear. But got a sway bar. That bracket was a pain in the ass. I just put new bushings in here. Okay, so. Sorry about the hand, guys. Hang on. It's tight under here. Everything is greased. Nice and greasy. So, this bracket, this metal bracket here, actually bolts up. Oh, gosh, so tight. Okay. That bracket there opens up. You got two bolts here. You actually have to drill it. But Clark's Corvairs actually says that you have to make sure that this bracket, the bottom of this bracket, is. level with the rocker panel over there but they're wrong this is my 1969 Corvair Oopsie. and what I found out is I already have one hole drilled here Damn. as you can see that hole there I was already drilled I drilled that to mount this bracket so it was level with the rocker panel and it didn't work it actually rubbed right there on my transmission right there on my tranny so I did the same thing on this side too so what I did was the best way to do this this is to buy a car with a rear sway bar. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, best way to do this is where this bracket here would be level with the rocker panel. Come about an inch down. Okay. If you come about an inch down, it will clear the transmission differential. And as far as the holes that you have to drill into the lower torsion bars well they're not all going to be perfect so I also have this ceramic coated and those are powder coated right there those brackets are powder coated you can't see because the lens come on focus anyways I gotta clean my lens ooh boy it's dirty so starter's all hooked up everything's all hooked up um, I went back, I drilled a hole back three and three quarters inches and one inch in. Three, three, three and three quarters back, one inch in. And I did that to both sides. I did it to this side and I did it to the other side over there. Okay. You got a washer and a bushing on the top, a washer and bushing on the bottom. You have a spacer here. And this is a little uneven. I'm going to have to adjust this once I get the car on the road and alignment done and it leveled and straight and stuff. I just put it on the ground. So that's that. I got to clean this thing all up. It's dirty. But you got polyurethane bushings. And these stupid little rubber bushings for the upper shock mount, which is ridiculous. I'm going to look into this one. <laughs> 
So, everything is greased and ready to go. Yep, rear sway bar. Make sure you have some good drill bits. I must have broke four drill bits drilling all these holes. Yep. You can tell it's kind of not level, but it's fine. Four rear, rear sway bar. Installed. Next up, cleaning. So, this isn't even parallel. This bottom piece isn't even parallel. But it's fine. $300. We'll see if it's worth it. We got little spacers in there, too. See how it bolts up, guys? You got the frame lip. This is the pinch weld right here. This is the pinch weld. It goes over top of the pinch weld. I should have brought you guys along for the ride, I know. But, oh well. Life goes on. See, there's the spacer. There's the pinch weld. Then you got two little screws up there. I loosened up all those screws. I had to put two new ones right there. But I greased them and put them back in. Grease more than underneath of the car so it doesn't rust. While it sits, if it sits for a few years. Yep. Brakes are good. I got my MSD electronic ignition 6AL that I will make a few videos while I'm installing today. I gotta clean up under here. I gotta put my headers on. And, um, drop it. Yep, drop it to the ground. Hope the tires will work. So, there's your Corvair rear sway bar. Right there. See you later.